run drop songs in it. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Dion back again with another video. So today we're gonna make a beat, uh, something like an ammo piano inspired by a little bit of Afro beats. Uh, so we are at 108 BPM and I have these two shakers here. The first one is a typical ammo piano shaker, sounds like this. Yeah, and then the second one is more of a Afro beat shaker, 110 shaker, if you guys really know it, sounds like this. But together they kind of give me a vibe I'm going for. Yeah, and I kind of like that, you know, so I'm actually just going to start with the drums right now. Uh, and as you can see, uh, I have my drums here and all these drums I'm going to be using are from my drum kit, which I'm working on. Uh, and I'll be dropping it once I hit 1K. First of all is the shakers, then the rims. Uh, and then next is the, is the snares and then the percussion and then the kick, of course. Uh, this actually just gives me a better visual of want everything to to look like and sound like. Because uh, I actually know the sound, I created the sounds on my own. So I'm going to start uh, first of all with the rims. So the rims, I'm going to go with the typical um, I'm a piano vibe. But I'm actually going to swing it a little bit. And the reason I'm using uh, this uh, like four rims, uh, it is just to get a better bounce and a different bounce, you know, layering sounds makes it uh, much better rather than just having one main sound. Yeah, I kind of like that. So I'm going to go with the snare. I'm going to start with the snare. I'm going to add this first snare. It's going to be a simple pattern. Just put it here. Yeah, I kind of like that. We're going to add the second snare. And the second snare, we're going to do a little bit something special with it. Yeah, so here at the end, we're going to do something like a roll kind of thing. just to make uh, the drums transition a little bit better. As you can see, I added this roll, but I played with the velocity, making it a little bit more interesting. Dear fire, now we're gonna start with the perks. Uh, and the perks, I'm simply gonna go with a typical Atma Piano vibe for this. That sounds kind of better. Two hours later. Yeah, and I have this other perk, but we're gonna do something different. Uh, so we're gonna right click it and then we're gonna go to advanced fill. This is just a better way to add notes in your channel rec, which are repetitive. I'm gonna press accept. I'm gonna do with that perk is actually I'm gonna randomize the velocity just to make it a little bit more random and I'm gonna come here at the settings and I'm actually gonna add a little bit of feed uh, which is more of just an echo or delay about 10 percent here definitely adds to the vibe the kick simple four step pattern
Yeah, pretty vibey, pretty vibey. So for the melody, I have this electrical piano from Lounge Lizard. I'm simply gonna play this. Yeah, I kind of like it, but I feel like it's just a little bit too happy and a little bit too bright. So I'm gonna knock down all the upper uh, notes down an octave. And let's see how this sounds actually. Control down to knock it down an octave. So one thing I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna press Alt Y to reverse it. Yeah, and I think I prefer that actually. So um, I'm actually gonna render it out like this, as it is. Sounds like this. it so i'm gonna uh, send it to a mixer track and i'm gonna add an eq just get rid of that muddy low end Next thing we're gonna add is the tremolo signal from Purity. This is like the most used on a piano preset from Purity. Because I don't actually want it to clash with the rest of the melody. I'm gonna knock it up an octave. Yeah, it definitely sounds better here. Yeah, so the next thing we're gonna add is this uh, song kind of thing. Uh, and we're just gonna simply go with this button, typical I'm a piano button. Next up, I'm going to add a lead from Purity. We're going to play a pattern which actually took me a while to get. So it sounds like this. Uh, so we're going to add a pad from Toxic Biohazard. I'm simply going to knock every middle note up an octave let's see up an octave i think below here is just all right control b to copy it over next up i'm going to add a smoothie bass from morphine and this is actually one of the great sounding bases in morphine i'm simply going to follow the bass notes something actually a little bit interesting uh, which uh, I feel like it just takes the whole beat to a next groove we're gonna delay the note notes a little bit I'm gonna copy it over control B to copy it over and then here I'm actually gonna add a slide note double click it and then select the slide accept and just make it shorter now it sounds like this yeah, it definitely brings the vibe so the next thing i actually made um a log drum preset um it's kind of vibey so i'm gonna add a pattern i actually added this pattern which also took me a little bit of a while but yeah i got it right and it sounds like this to copy it over and then i'm gonna move it to the right position but we're gonna actually layer that log drum with the fm sub just to make the the log drum hit a little bit harder 
control L to elongate the notes. Yeah, vibe, but we're gonna knock it down an octave so they don't clash. Yeah, vibe, you know. Uh, so that's simply it, guys. Uh, I made a pretty easy arrangement, nothing too complex. So as you can see here, I added a lot of a lot of transitions. So uh, I added the famous ice crash, added a roll here, and then some some impacts and some rises. So basically, this will be like the intro, and this will be like the hook, and then this will be the drop. Then this can actually be the verse, you know. So I would like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please hit that sub button and a like button just to help with the algorithm. So let's take a listen to it. Peace out. See you in the next one. Oh, I'm gonna go.